Hello everyone, LEGO Mega 96 one here, here with another video. And in this video, I will show you all my Civil War outfits from the Union side and to the uh, Confederate side. Now, a little known fact, I'm not for the South in any way, shape, or form. I'm for the Union. Love the guys. And I will continue to love the Union in any way, shape, or form. Huzzah! Now... A little known fact, I got most of these stuff from uh, Craigslist, uh, the Regimental Quartermaster in Gettysburg, love the shop, any Philadelphia Regimental Depot, sorry if I butchered the name, but this is pretty much all I have at the moment. I uh, told uh, Captain Whitehall of the 2nd United States Sharpshooters, Company D of, the, uh, of all the things I have, so here you are Captain. This is all the things I have at the moment. Now, most of these were Christmas gifts and stuff I got for myself, with help of my father, of course. Now, the uh, hat, the cap, Confederate cappy, I got from uh, eBay. It looks great and all. These three hats. That's. And along with the uh, Confederate coat and vest, they're all from uh, Craigslist. But the insignia, the infantry, I got that for Christmas, so I placed it on the uh, the straw hat there. But it looks good. And here is the three hats, or should I say four hats, of the Union Army. The 1858. Hardy hat, sorry for all the dust, never wear it as much. An officer's kepi. A soldier's kepi with the uh, little sew, sewing work done on there. Yeah, my little brother was messing around with it and the thing fell off. And I was trying to place it back in, but the uh, thing fell off, so I kind of sewed it on there. And my kepi, not kepi, forge cap. I usually wear this out in public from time to time. Some people have mistaken it for a Confederate Cappy or Forge Cap. Why am I confusing it for Cappy? I don't ever know. <laughs> but I love wearing that hat and it's pretty outstanding. And here are my uh, three coats of what I have. Right here is a, a shell coat or roundabout, whatever you want to call it. This is the uh, my officer's shell coat. This is one of the coats I uh, I got. And the rank I chose is Colonel, because famous colonels like uh, Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain of the 20th Maine, Robert Gouldshaw of the 54th, and um, a bunch of others. Sorry if I don't know their names. And my com and the common sack coat, in which I had to say I love that. And here are the basic shirts. This one I got from Regimental Cornmaster. These three from Craigslist. And this one from Christmas. The waist belt and the cartridge case. They're all I got from Regimental Quartermaster. Love the store. The bayonet, which I got for Christmas by my aunt. The canteen. Got that for Christmas. My uh, haversack, which I got from uh, from Craigslist, but I don't have anything um, soldier related. So what I have in here is a book on Gettysburg, for my uh, handkerchief, and a tin cup. So that's this is pretty much all I have in here. But I will get a new one somewhere down the line. I don't know when exactly. And of course, this bad boy here. Reproduction of a model 1861 Springfield rifled musket. Now I got this from Craigslist from a former Confederate reenactor, which by the way, I love this thing with all my heart. Oh, and let's not forget the bayonet scabbard I got from Regimental Quartermaster as well. And the leather brogans, also from the Philadelphia Regimental Depot. Again, sorry if I butchered the name. Now, this is all what I have at the moment. Somewhere down the line, I will get more. 
We just gotta save a couple extra bucks, you know? And maybe, just maybe, I can get some um, officers related in equipment and in gear. So in that case, I could cosplay myself as an, a Yankee officer. Yeah, to all my Confederate subscribers out there, I'm a Union man. Love the Union. Hurrah for Lincoln. Down with Jeff Davis. So, yeah. Oh, and the trousers I got from Regimental Quartermaster as well. Same with the uh, suspenders. I got them from the, uh, the Philadelphia Regimental Depot. Again, sorry if I butchered the name. For the hardy hat, it came with a feather, so I don't want to be seen with it. I'll explain why, because my father thinks the hardy hat is more like a lady's hat. But that's what soldiers wore back then, so what I did, I took the feather off. So now it's just a hardy hat with no feather. The, the hardy hat's up there somewhere. So I just took it off and leave it at that. So... Yeah, guys, this is pretty much what I have at the moment. And, and that is it for this video as well. And if you like what you see, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And as always, this is LEGO Mega 961 signing off.